Your pin should be between 60 feet and 80 feet in circumference. So cut two pieces of electric rope the same length, allowing extra for the handle and loop. The size is important. Any smaller in your horse cannot lie down without possibly hitting the fence, but larger may take up too much room in a camping area, or it may encourage him to start ripping around and going through the fence. If you are camping with a friend, set your pens up about 10 feet from each other. Any closer in the horses may be trying to reach over to touch each other, causing squealing or shocks as they touch the fence. Be sure the pens are close enough that the horses can see each other. If they can't, they will be whinnying back and forth all the time. To complete your pen, you will need two handles, six clamps, a short connector piece of electric rope, nine step-in posts, 16 insulators, and a portable battery charger. To erect your pen, lay out one of the ropes in a circle and space eight of the posts around the circle. Push the posts into the ground and run the rope through a set of insulators, putting the handle near one of the posts where you want your entrance. Run the second piece of rope through the second set of insulators. Connect the two ropes with the shorter connector rope and two clamps. Put the ninth post close to the pan as your ground post and attach the battery charger's alligator clamps to the post and fence. My girlfriends and I share a ground post but use two battery chargers, one for each pen. We do not daisy chain because if one horse happens to panic and go through his pen, we do not want the other pen coming down as well. None of our horses have ever gone through their pens because they are properly trained, but we don't take chances with anything. Actually, one night it rained so hard that half the posts in my thoroughbred's pen fell over. I woke to find half the pen down, but she was still standing in the pen with the heel cocked, pointed towards the companion horse. That is how secure she feels in her pen. If you have skipped the rest of this clinic to get to this part, please train your horse at home to the pen before you camp. You might also want to check out the rest of this clinic because there are a number of things that will help you keep your horse healthy and make it a positive trip for you as well.